blogger.com pros and cons. Let's get to it. What's going on, everybody? My name is David, website creatorpro.com. So I personally make my living from managing two large WordPress websites. Uh, I definitely recommend WordPress over Blogger if your goal is to build a large income generating web property, an asset that you completely own yourself. Definitely use WordPress because it just provides better SEO, has more various plugins, you have more control over the design, etc. But Blogger is really good if you're just wanting to start some type of like personal project and you're okay with it just being this side thing, a small income source. You're not trying to like, you know, change the world and build this big income generating web property. You're, you're okay with creating something that's like, okay, cool. It makes like a few hundred dollars, gets a little bit of attention, uh, et cetera. And so what are some pros and cons of Blogger? So I've been using it Blogger for the last month or so for edgeofdavid.com. Uh, that used to be a WordPress website, a really cringy, bad uh, WordPress blog. I started as a 20 year old and then I moved it to Google Sites to test Google Sites out. And now I just moved over to Blogger and I am really happy with Blogger. There are a lot of things I like. There are things I don't like. So let's get to it. Okay, so what are some positives of Blogger that I really like? So it's nice and simple. One, you get your own uh, custom domain name with its own SSL certificate. Two, you get completely free web hosting. And then three, you can actually create content that ranks which I think is great because you have enough control over the on-page SEO in terms of the title tags and meta description uh, and just overall structure of the blog post. So it actually has a chance of you actually getting free search engine traffic. The only reason I bring that up is because like when I compared it to Google Sites, Google Sites, like you can build a beautiful website, but then like <laughs> the on-page SEO is terrible and like it's never actually going to rank. Where Blogger doesn't have that same issue. You have a complete control over the on-page SEO. And so basically you end up being able to create a basically simple blog that can actually rank, get traffic, is secure, has its own custom domain name, and you're not paying for anything. You're not paying for hosting. So you can end up creating like in this online thing that could potentially get like a thousand visitors a day, make money, and it's great. And so that's why I like Blogger because edgeofdavid.com for me personally was like just a cringy WordPress blog I started uh, actually 10 years ago, believe it or not. Uh, but it never was successful. And so I kind of retired the project. But then I was thinking, well, I really like that domain name. My travel channel is Edge of David. Maybe like, is there something that I can just do just to have a website that, may, okay, if it gets like 100, 100 visitors, 200 visitors, makes a little bit of money like on the side, like that's what I'm looking for because like, I'm personally with WPX hosting because I have a few medium sized websites that get like 50,000 visitors a month. And so like, that's why I'm, I, you know, I pay for web hosting, but like edge of David is just like, you know, why do I have to pay for hosting for that kind of site that doesn't get that much traffic? That's not pulling its weight, so to speak. I literally just want a place where I can like write, publish content, uh, go after various keywords I want. If it ranks great, if it gets makes money, great. I can really, you know, create content related to my travel videos, etc. And that's, and I'm not paying for anything. <laughs> like I'm not paying for web hosting. That's wonderful. Okay. So things I don't like about blogger, there are basically three things and three main things I don't like about blogger. So number one, the most annoying thing is that you have to have dates in your URL. I hate that. There's no way to change that. Like, yeah, you can set a custom URL within blogger, but all it does is it's, it's basically your website.com slash date slash then you can change whatever the uh, post title is, but you can't get rid of dates. So that's, that's annoying. That's why I don't recommend you use Blogger over WordPress uh, because it's just, that's a really annoying thing. And then next, the design is a bit cumbersome and you, there's a lot of like built-in design restrictions that I find really, really annoying. For example, like the footer. Like the footer is the spot where I wanna put like privacy policy, terms of use, disclosure, maybe the Amazon uh, disclaimer, et cetera. That should go in the footer. But with Blogger, the way it's built uh, natively is that basically it restricts you from editing the footer. And then the, you have to basically jump into the HTML. Then you have to find the section where it says footer. And then you basically have to unlock it. And that, that does basically it. Yeah. And like once you unlock it, then you can start adding in gadgets like uh, HTML gadgets, for example. And then you can add in text and add it to the footer or add social media buttons to the footer, etc. I don't know why they make it so difficult to edit the footer. And, then, and just other little aspects like that, like adding a header, for example, is a headache. Like adding a, your own logo, like the like Blogger, depending on the theme you're using, sometimes will blow your logo out. Like if you're uploading a 200 by 200 pixel image, you think it's gonna be 200 by 200 pixels on your site, and then it blows it up to like 300 by 300. And it's like, why is it doing this? Then you have to go through this trial and error of trying different sizes. 
it just becomes like a needless headache. And that's something I found really annoying with bloggers, just cumbersome uh, design. So like dates in your row, cumbersome design. And last is the ad AdSense integration. And so I love that you can run ads on your blogger blog because with Google Sites, you're not allowed to basically run ads on your <laughs> Google Sites, but blogger, they have their own integration. But the con, this is a con because how do you get your site verified for AdSense? What is like, when I click on it, it says like my, my website's not ready to be monetized with AdSense. It's like, well, okay, what do I have to do to get it ready? Well, how do I qualify for AdSense with that site? I don't know. <laughs> There's no communication. There's nothing that says, says specifically like your site must be doing this, 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 and this. Like with YouTube, YouTube's great because YouTube's clear. Okay, you need 4,000 hours of watch time. You need 1,000 subscribers. But with Blogger, it's like, I don't know. It's whenever the Blogger gods decide to bless your site and then, okay, you can run ads now, David. You're, ding. <laughs> it's like, what's the difference? I, I don't get it. And so I don't understand why that communication is not clear. And some of you may be thinking, well, well can't you just add AdSense ads to your site itself? And I was like, I actually tried that because I have an AdSense account, edgeofdavid.com, the domain name is approved to run AdSense ads. It's just because it's now a blogger site, uh, you know, it doesn't work. And so like I've actually taken AdSense code and put it on blogger and it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. You got to wait until the AdSense gods or the blogger gods, whatever, uh, decide that your site now qualifies for AdSense. All right, everybody, that is it for this video on the pros and cons of blogger.com. Uh, overall, I really like blogger. I think it's an ideal solution. If you just are like you're a YouTuber or whatever, you just want to have like your own little personal site to write about whatever you want, or maybe you're someone who kind of understands SEO and design everything and then you just want to have a personal site so that maybe just gets a little bit of traffic makes a little bit of money etc blogger is fantastic because of free hosting custom domain name SSL certificate with your site uh, ease of use with creating content all those little things uh, blogger does a great job uh, it's again it's not ideal if you want to build a large income generating uh, website that's your own asset that you can sell etc blogger is more ideal if you're if you just want to create more of a personal site uh, but you want to create like you just want to get but you also want traffic because like compared to like a Google site can't really get traffic with Google sites because the on-page SEO is really bad whereas blogger it's really good anyways guys I'm starting to ramble so I'll leave it there thank you very much for watching my name is David website creativepro.com see you next video bye bye